what is good youtube man today i'm back with you guys with the nation for another video and today 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 we are here to update you guys the nation on the latest news regarding our team and we've got some good news we've also got a little bit of a bummer um heading into this week's matchup but we'll get straight into it man the very very positive news is that standout corner pro bowl he should be a pro bowl pro bowl corner nate hobbs has cleared thank goodness he has cleared concussion protocols as of yesterday so this my friends is a massive massive weight lifted off of our shoulders i simply couldn't imagine our defense without the heart and soul the heartbeat um of nate hobbs on this defense he has been absolutely lights out um in his nfl career and he has upped it in his second year of his career so shout out to nate hobbs he's again done the unthinkable clear concussion protocols uh we know that that's a very touchy subject in the nfl right now with everything going on across the league but shout out to nate hobbs but like i was saying a little bit of a bummer in this uh case because as reported earlier in this week we did find out that sam webb the undrafted free agent out of west virginia who had a good game last week was expected to start on the outside um whether nate hobbs was going to play or wasn't going to play. Now, the reason why this sucks a little bit is because as of yesterday, he has been finalized as questionable for this week's matchup. Now, it could be worse. He could be as doubtful or out, but um, he has been limited throughout this entire week of practice with a hamstring injury. Of course, we know about uh, Rocky Asin's injury that he's dealing with to his knee. He's also been limited all throughout practice this week. We don't know when we're getting Anthony Aver back, so we know that the cornerback room is a little bit thin, and if uh, Mr. Sam Webb isn't able to go. It only gets thinner. Now, Nikel Roby Coleman was elevated for tomorrow's game. Um, we did also elevate the 4-3 speed slot corner that we picked up from the Jets. So he's elevated for tomorrow's game as well. But if Sam Webb is not able to go, that does mean that Amik Robertson will probably have to line up on the outside against Cortland Sutton. And if you guys know, Cortland Sutton's about six foot three. Amik Robertson's about 5'8 or 5'9. So it is a tough matchup on the outside. It's a matchup that could get exploited and attacked on purpose. Um, if Sam Webb isn't to, isn't able to go, right? Sam Webb is about 6'1, 6'2. So that's a much better matchup on the outside. But nonetheless, let's go into other details of the Raiders news. Now, we do know of two players that we will be without this week. Um, again, Hunter Renfro will be out. And for some surprise within the nation, Foster Moreau will not play this week. He did suffer some torn knee cartilage um, after a very, very big play that he made. I believe it was 22 or 27 yards over the middle safety absolutely destroyed his knee um and he did kind of grab at it but he did play for the rest of the game so hopefully he didn't aggravate or make that injury worse by playing on it for the rest of the game but we will be out of foster moreau who let's be honest he outperformed our tight end number one he looked very very good in that last game um as a blocker as a pass catcher being without Foster Moreau puts a lot of weight on Darren Waller's shoulders. Hopefully, you know, we get a bigger game from Darren Waller. Now, good news. We know that we're going to be with Denzel Perryman. Thank the Lord. We're going to be with uh, Mr. Trayvon Mary. That's a big boost because that allows Trayvon Mary and Deron Harmon to stay over the top, which means we could see Jonathan Abram in the box, which is great. We always like to see Jonathan Abram in the box um, on this channel. I'm a big fan of uh, Abram in the box. But another thing, we are getting a little bit of a boost to the offensive line um, because Dylan Parham can now take a little bit of a rest from playing center as we get Andre James back this week. So Andre James is expected to be the starting center, of course, which allows Dylan Parham to move over to the right guard spot, which is where he should have started if Andre James was healthier, um, but he wasn't these past few weeks. So Dylan Parham can go back to the right side and surprise, surprise, Alex Bars. He gets um, signed to the active roster, which means that he'll probably be starting tomorrow because he did pretty damn good. Um, and the right tackle spot is up in the air whether it's a luminor 
or Thayer Munford, I want you guys to let, you, uh, let your thoughts and opinions be heard in the comment section down below. Would you rather be Luminor or Thayer Munford to start tomorrow? Let me know that. But also, in more news, right? We know that we got Nicole Roby Coleman boosted up from the practice squad because we are unsure of that slot spot if Sam Webb is or isn't able to go. Now, a little bit more news. Isaiah Pullamau was cut, but he was re-signed to the Raiders practice squad. So that's good. On top of that, we did <clears throat> release Jackson Barton. That was to make space for um, Alex Bars to make it to the active 53-man roster. So that's a little bit of roster updates along with, you know, our injury news and all that kind of stuff. Hopefully it continues to get better because we know that we need health um, to, to trade and try and turn this around. Um, and it starts tomorrow, right? Got to get in the right direction. Got to get a win in that win column and beat your divisional rival and then do it again the next week beat another divisional rival which it will be tough but it does need to get done as always with the nation let me know your guys thoughts and opinions about all the things going on within the nation and tomorrow two three hours before the game starts we'll be live on this channel to do a preview we may also be live during the game to do a live play-by-play -play reaction so if you like that kind of stuff and you like what you see here Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button to never miss a video. As always, you guys, I love y'all. Stay safe. Have a wonderful rest of your day. And I'm out. Peace. Welcome to the Death Star. Where our opponent's free.